welcome back to Lily's Crafty Corner. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so today I went to Dollar Tree and it was quite uh, a good day for a haul. What I'm going to start out with is this uh, bottle that has the little, it's a plastic cap or stopper, whatever you want to call it, and then you can take and lock it. What I like about it is that uh, I have one of those uh, soda streams, and when I make the water, when I put it on the table, this will be a lot nicer to put on than uh, putting, you know, the plastic water uh, soda stream bottle. So, anyway, they're a dollar and a quarter, and I just think they're awesome. The other thing I purchased today, even though I've already purchased uh, gloves for gardening, I saw these as I was walking through, and it hit me, geez, you know, these are much nicer for the same dollar and a quarter. I can get these, and I think they'll work better as gardening gloves. The rubber here is a lot stronger, so I think that it will do a better job of keeping me dry. So on to the next. The other thing I found today was that they have buckets to put on your railing. Now, I should have done this, be checked my railing before. It's only a couple of years old uh, that we had our deck replaced. Not, well, yes, replaced, not en enlarged or anything. Just um, needed new wood and new railings. So I just have to check with this. But I did pick up three of them. And again, they're a dollar and a quarter. And I do want to see how they work. The only thing I have a concern about, which I think I'll have my husband um, drill maybe a hole right here, because of, of course, if I put the plants in there and there's no overhang, uh, when it rains, it's just, you know, especially if we have a heavy rain, which we've been having a lot of rain lately, uh, you know, it'll overflow and it won't be a good deal. So what I was thinking was I'm just going to have him, if these fit, I will have him just open that up and then we'll be able to, you know, um, or actually that won't work because that'll be on the railing. These will be on the side, so I guess I'll have to have him put it, put the uh, openings on the side, if they work. The other thing I purchased today was I've been making, uh, crafting paper beads, and the thing is to get them to be, um, you know, not worry about them getting wet. Uh, you have to put on some kind of uh, coating. And I've been using this this liquid silicone, and I do have something to harden it with. I have the UV light that goes along with this. It's a set. And the thing is, you really do need to protect your hands. And I was trying to use plain old rubber gloves, but they are, are plastic, you know, the um, nitrile gloves. Anyway... The, they just weren't working out well for me. And these fit nicely, so I'm going to do that when I put them on. And I thought I had some of my beads sitting. Oh, I do. And these are what I've been playing with, making um, paper beads. They're a lot of fun. Here's a real small one. I haven't done anything with that yet. And... Here are some others that I've done. And this one I have, this one actually I put nail hardener on it, you know, it's like Sally Hansen. But I'm, I am going to go over it with the um, UV, you know, with that other stuff. So anyway, I'm sorry. I, this was just a quick note for the uh, reason why I got the gloves. And I think they'll work real well for me. The other thing I like is for a dollar and a quarter, this one cleans really nice. The last one I had, um, it just bit the dust. You know, I've had it a while, and I do give it a good workout on my stainless steel uh, pots. So, a new one of those. And if you've seen, these have been out for a while, the small boards. And what I love about these, you know, those so-called charcuterie boards, I kind of laugh because um, back in the, 
mid 70s when I was a young bride um, or early 70s even when we would have folks over we would always in the evening when uh, we would get together we had actually neighbors that we did this like every weekend practically or every other weekend be a different neighbor's home but whoever was hosting and the point was that we used to put out what they call charcuterie boards now on um you know, uh, divided uh, platters. And, but anyway, what I thought was, I've got around 10 of these now. And they're kind of nice for like the summer, uh, especially at the pool area when you put the things out. People can make up their own charcuterie boards. So anyway, that's just how I think I'm going to use them. I have, like I said, 10 of those. And up oh, the bowls. Let me see what I got here. Oh, these are new. This is the first time I've seen these. They're the um, three of the nesting measuring cups. And it doesn't say what they're, but I would say the, the large one is probably two cups or maybe three. Yeah, this one is four cups actually. And what I like about them is that they nest beautifully. And they even have an opening so that they will stick in. And this one is what, just a cup? Yeah, this is just a cup. And I'm doing pretty good because I don't have my glasses on. I can't really. So I think I'm being that I don't have my glasses on. I think I'm doing pretty well. Okay. Let's see what I have next. Oh. These I bought. I think I bought six of them. They're a dollar and a quarter. There are six paper trays. And we do a lot of entertaining. Now, I have to say, we don't do um, the large numbers of folks that we entertained, uh, like back in the day. But uh, we do have, you know, uh, frequently we have folks over. And... One of the things that I bought six of these and I thought that they were great. They're a dollar and a quarter. They're fairly decent size um, cardboard. And I thought that they would be fun. Also, there's nights too, like with my husband and myself. I mean, I can do a hamburger and put fries. And, you know, so it's, it's just a little fun thing, like if we're eating out on the deck or down by the pool. Now, this I bought for our great grandson. So that tells you I'm old, but it's a bubble blower. Now this was in the $3 section, which was fine, except for one thing. Well, two things. Number one, there's no bubbles in it. There's no bubbles in it. it doesn't come with bubbles and you have to get batteries. So we do have the rechargeables, which I absolutely love. Got those on Amazon and you can get the charger and everything. And they're really nice to have anyway. Here's the bubble blower, so I can't even show it how it works. I am going to put the batteries in it, and I, the other thing was I was went through the whole Dollar Tree and could not find any bubbles. So that was a kind of a letdown that I would have liked to have tried today for you. Now, the other thing, this is funny. I bought four of these, and as you can see, they're... We had these when we were growing up. And what's cute is they actually have a, um, a straw on the side, I guess. But I don't know why you would do that if you can't take these apart. I thought they came apart, but they don't. They don't. I thought they did. Oh, well. But regardless. Oh, I see. So that when you open it, have it like this and they start melting, you can do that. Okay, you'll have the, there it is. Well, the thing is, the reason I bought four of them, I'm not using them for kids, because we don't, uh, like I said, the only kids we have here are our great, my great grandson, who's 15 months, and his sister, who's uh, three months. So, they're not going to use them, but I think we will freeze fruit juice with adult beverages and do some with my, uh, we actually have gotten crazy into um, the, what do you call it? Uh, 
I'll tell you in a minute. Moonshine. And uh, you, th it's really good. There's a lot of flavors. You can mix it with fruit juice or whatever and make some nice frozen treats. So these are for the adults. The other thing I bought today, which I was really disappointed, um, they only had one of these of the Let Freedom Ring. And I bought, I purchased these before in the years. And what I do is I put them in the plants and, uh, you know, my potted plants and in the garden and so forth during the holidays. And if they make it through the 4th of July, you know, time frame, uh, that's fine. If they don't, you know, for a dollar and a quarter and you get four of them in their foam, they, if they don't make it, oh well. And if they do, that's fine too. So... And the only thing was, I did stop at a second dollar store just to see if I could find any more of them, which was on my way home from the first one that I went to. And they didn't have them either. So I guess they really went quick. The other thing I bought for myself, which I use these uh, when I come out of the shower. And I even use them when I make uh, do a makeup in the morning. And this one's pretty good size. Usually when you get these from the dollar store, I think they're larger than the ones. I had a blue one I bought there. And then I had one that I had gotten from uh, Five Below. And that was, it's a yellow one, and it's quite large and very um, absorbent. This one is not, I would say, is probably not as absorbent. But this will work nice uh, for when I put my makeup on to hold the hair back and so forth. So, or, you know, when you come out of the shower, what I like to do is I put my leave-in conditioner in, and then when I come out, I wrap this, wrap my other one, the one that's very absorbent, into the hair, around the hair, and then, you know, finish getting out of the shower. So, anyway, these were really good. They have them, a lot of them for Mother's Day, so I think that's a pretty good deal. Here's something else that I found today that I was really excited about which is the um, bunt pans. It's the first time I've seen them there. And you can make any cake into a bunt cake. And um, I don't need an extra pan, you know, because I don't do them that often. But uh, anyway, for for two fifty to have, be able to have, make four bunts. And I thought too, you know, this will be good during the holidays. Um, you know, when uh, around Christmas and Thanksgiving, it'll work nice. Let me see what else I have left. Oh, this is something that I hadn't found today for the first time. And it's Progresso. And it's creamy corn chowder. And the reason I bought it was because, have you seen the price of Progresso cans of soup lately? Like, and this makes eight servings and it was a dollar and a quarter. Now, let me see. I don't even see what they say to do it. They have stovetop. For creamier chowder, they want you to add two cups of milk. But anyway, it's just the idea that, and then when I check the, out the um, expiration date on these, it's um, January, not January, December, December of 24. So we're good for a while on that. That's good. So I got a couple of those. And here's something else I purchased today, which I'm going to try. I have a load in the washing machine right now that's going to end up in the dryer in about 10 minutes. This is the washing machine cleaner. I'm going to try that today, and I'll let you all know how that works. And this thing I purchased today. They are oh, all that crinkly. Um, I'm going to try this. It's... Um, their brand, I guess, and it's called Shed Shield. Well, we have a kitty, and our high-maintenance dumpster kitty, who was rescued in a, like, 20 below, well, we have less than, what was it, like 10 below here, which we never get below zero. Horrible winter we had a couple of years ago. Anyway, my daughter rescued him, and then we ended up with him, and um, he has a lot of he has some health issues with his uh, urine. It doesn't stay uh, neutral, 
and he ends up with bladders, uh, crystals. Oh, what a, anyway, we got him straightened out, but he's on special food and water, cat water. And they actually sell this cat water if you have that issue with your cat. And, he, and he's on also pills that get crushed up every day for, um, to goes in his food to keep the yurt, to keep him from getting those uh, crystals. Now, the, uh, the thing is, he's beautiful orange and white cat, but he sheds. And I thought I would try this and see if it works. I have furniture covers um, that we've always had, uh, not just for kitty. And uh, anyway, I'm going to give that a shot. And I'll let you guys know if that stuff works. And then my last thing, my last two things, is uh, I got a, and this is plastic. At first when I picked it up, I thought it was ceramic. And uh, it isn't. But I have broken so many spoon rests when I get these lovely uh, ceramic ones. Well, I shouldn't say I break them, but they get broken. And then the other thing I purchase a lot of is the uh, super glue. And I get them, I like to get them at the Dollar Tree because first of all, they're only a dollar and a quarter. And what I like about these, I only use like for one sitting. I don't have, so if I don't use it all, I don't really feel bad because you know how this stuff is when you try to cap it and reuse it. And then I use these when I, and this is a gel, which I absolutely love. It's a lot easier on the hands and so forth and getting things done. So I hope you liked my, um, what do you call it? My haul today. And whenever I go to the dollar store, I always treat myself to their, what is this? Uh, 16 ounce Diet Coke for a dollar and a quarter. It's a good deal also. Well, I hope you have a happy uh, time doing your Dollar Trees. And I hope that you um, enjoy what I gave, uh, per, you know, put out there today. And hope to see you soon.